Hello guys, my name is Phil Benjamin and you're welcome to my YouTube channel once more. Today I'm going to be showing you guys two things. Yeah, two things. I'm going to be showing you guys first how to add textures to your backdrop and secondly how to change the color of your backdrop from one color to the other. So I'm having this image of my assistant who I shot like two weeks ago and I'll be using this image to demonstrate this. I shot her against a seamless paper backdrop which I have in the studio and yeah, it's easy for you to add textures to this kind of backdrop. Before getting my texture backdrop, this was what I was doing and I know texture backdrops are a bit expensive so yes, you would want to learn how to do this. Just spend a little bit of more time on Photoshop and yeah, you will be giving your client something different from what you currently do. So I'll first of all show you guys how to add textures to this backdrop by first looking for my texture folder. I'm having several textures, so I'm just going to pick one and drag it into the document in Photoshop. So we have several textures here, which I think are nice, but I'm just going to pick this one I was selected before and drag it into my document in Photoshop. So once I'm done, I'll press enter and it's going to be showing as a smart object. So to remove that, I'm going to rasterize the, the layer and yeah, I've taken that out. Now, what I'm going to do next is first of all, I'm going to take out the color of this texture layer. So, I'll go to adjust image, adjustment, and desaturate. Yeah, so once you desaturate the color from the texture, you can now drag the textures and make sure it's covering the entire. Good. So make sure it's covering the entire document. So for us to do to add this texture to this image, we are going to be using our blend mode. So I want to change the blend mode, which is going to allow the the layer, the bottom, to be visible, and it's going to blend this in. So we have different blend modes. So we're just going to pick the one that will work for us and I think yeah overlay or the soft light will work perfectly so I'm just going to select soft light and reduce the opacity a little bit and I think okay this is good yeah so once you are done with this you successfully added the texture to the entire image but we don't want the textures to be showing on our skin so we are going to mask the texture layer add a mask to it so once we add a mask so it's going to show the white mask which is a reveal mask so we don't want the layer to be revealed on the entire image we just want it to be on the background so what we are going to do is we are going to use our brush to to take out the textures from our skin by selecting a black foreground color. So once we use the black foreground color to paint over this white mask, it's going to hide the texture layer from our skin and only allow it to show on the background. So I'm going to paint over the skin to take out the textures from the skin. Okay.
So you want to make sure that you are well zoomed in so as to make sure you don't make mistakes for accuracy. Yeah, so successfully added just textures to the background so you can see how it looks like with the texture in the backdrop, which is looking very nice and beautiful. So it's as if it's so natural and it looks like it was taken on a texture backdrop. So let's turn off the texture layer. You see how it is plain and seamless. And once you add it, you see the texture in it. So it actually takes your seamless bit of backdrop to a texture backdrop. So yeah, the so next thing I'm going to do now is to show you guys how to change the color for what from one color to the other. So I'm going to change this color for what it is now to something else by using the hue and saturation um, adjustment layer. Now in the hue and saturation adjustment layer you have um, a general color channel which has a combination of all the colors together. So have your view uh, slider, your saturation slider, your lightness slider. I use slider is actually used to change the colors from one um, color palette to the other. So if I actually want to maybe change the entire image color from what it is to maybe something else like um, purple, green, and all that, I just move the view and it changes the color just like that from one color to the other so but on this master channel it affects the entire color in the image now if i want to change just the value of the color what i'm going to do is just reduce the saturation or add the saturation which affects the value or the intensity of the color so if you also want to affect the, the, the lightness or the darkness or the light in the color, you can actually use the lightness, which is this or this. So it either darkens the color or lightens the color. So now, since we, I don't want to actually use this or uh, touch the master because it's going to affect all the colors. So I just want to pick a color that is going to affect the background and that will work fine for me so i'm going to select red i think this color is present in red and have some red in it so i'm just going to move the red and see what it gives me so okay good so i have green and i have purple so i want this to stay around the green but i want it to be blue so I'll check the, layer, the yellow channel and see what it gives me. Good. So it gives me the blue I want. So if I want to reduce the saturation of blue, I can do that just by just moving this saturation, which reduces the value or the intensity of the blue. So how much blue I want or I, I, I want to have on the background. So if I want to increase it so much, I'll move it this way, take it out. I'll move it towards the negative angle. But well, let's give it at zero for now. So now we've successfully changed the backdrop to blue, but it's affecting the entire image. So we'll do the same thing we did with the texture layer. But luckily for us, the adjustment layers always come with a mask so it comes with a reveal mask so i'm going to paint over it with the with the brush using the black foreground so i'm going to just change this to black and paint over the skin so as to bring back the color on the skin and on our cloth so, Most 
Good. Since the gene is already blue, there is no need for us to touch the gene. So, yeah. So that we've actually taken the color we want and put it on the background, taking it out of the skin of our subject. So. So good, so we successfully added, changed the color of the background from what it was to blue, and it's looking nice, really good, yeah. So we can reduce the intensity by just taking out this, I think, yeah, it's good at this point, and we can make it a little bit darker. Oh, okay. So we just give it a okay, so this is saved. So let's see what we've done. Make sure everything is accurate. So this is what it is now, and um, this was how it was looking before we added the texture and added the texture and changed the color of the background. So thank you guys for staying with me through this, and I hope you learned something new. And I want to ask you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification button below, so you'll be the first to know when I post educating videos like this and also like comment and share this uh, video so others can also come to learn and get to learn this thing you've learned already so thank you guys very much see you in the next video cheers
So thank you guys very much for staying with me throughout this video. I hope you've learned something new. And I want to ask you, um, beg you to like this video, comment in this video, and share this video. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button below so you'll be the first to know whenever I post or share any of these educative videos. Thank you guys very much. See you in the next video. Shares.